Hey everybody, it's me. It's October, which I'm getting annoyed with myself, but every month that I'm doing a newsletter, I'm still in disbelief over like, wait, how is it October already? I know I said that about September. I know I said that about August and I'm going to say it about November, December, and now I'm going to say it about the new year too. But time is going fast and wow, time is going fast. So this October, I want to share with you a little bit about where I'm at and I hope that I can be of some inspiration or help for you because I know how January we all think of like the new year, starting new, getting on a fresh page, fresh start. I know I love to do that, but the first of every month to me is that every single month. And I look at my life month by month and then I can kind of look in review of like, okay, the month went well, the month didn't go well, and so on and so forth. But in October, right before the holidays hit, this is a really good time to sort of assess your year, assess how how has your year been so far these past 10 months, nine months? Um, have you actually set intentions for yourself? Have you followed through with them? And if you haven't, are there any that you still want to accomplish and work towards? And I'm a big realist, you know, not to take on Rome or Rome isn't built in a day or whatever that saying is. Now is a time to look back over your year, see what you have stuck with, what you haven't, kind of reflect over whatever life threw your way. I know a lot of you have had sudden passings that just were thrown into your laps in life. A lot of you had exciting new babies and new marriages. A lot of you had divorces happen, um, new jobs, job changes. I mean, there's been so much change in the air for the past two years, actually. But now I feel like October is a really good time to look back, not with like, oh, look what I didn't do, look what I should have done, not with that. Instead to look, okay, where are you at? And where do you wanna go for the rest of the year? And how do you wanna start off your January 2023? So it sounds silly to three months ahead of time look into the new year, but we have October. Because the way I think, like November is all about the holidays and then December is all about the holidays. And then before you know it, it's like the last week in December and you're like scrambling to figure out, okay, what are my intentions for the new year? So I challenge you, I encourage you to really look throughout October as a reflection month of your year so far and a month to look forward as far as what more can you accomplish, notice and note what you have accomplished, and then start setting up your January. So I challenge you for this. Let me know how I can be of help of to you. Um, intuitive guidance sessions are always available. You can go on my website to look up those sessions, which are very different from mediumship sessions. Um, what else can I tell you? I've got a ton of events coming up in October. I have so many galleries back in person. I don't I don't even know. I've got to even look at the dates. Uh, for those of you in the Albany area on October 26th, I will be at the Coho's Music Hall. The links for all these are all over the place. Uh, October 12th, I'll be at Winding Hills Golf Course in Montgomery, New York. I am doing the Witch Hat Hospice Party again on, hold on, I've got to get that date. I didn't write it down in front of me. So not prepared, Deborah Hanlon. Uh, that's October 19th. Uh, I have a virtual gallery, which is right here online on October 5th. What else? Uh, those are all that I'm going to share for now because there's two still in the works for the end of the month. Um, and also the Saturday after Thanksgiving, when I had my center, I always reserved that Saturday for uh, a gallery day, two galleries actually held at the center, but I don't have my center anymore. So November 26th, is that the date? Oh, ridiculous. I'm not recording this whole thing all over again. So one moment, please. Yes, November 26th, I will be at a hotel in Newburgh, as will Shireen Baff with the Intentions Jewelry that I talk about all the time. She and I are teaming up again and we will be um, announcing those dates and, and all of that uh, closer to November. 
And then, of course, in January, I'm gearing up to get January started off with meditation memberships. So all of that is coming down the pike for you in the holiday season. I hope your October is filled with pumpkin spice for all of you who love pumpkin spice. I hope you really appreciate this month, regardless of what has happened in your life and what is to come. Today is a brand new start and let me know how I can be of help to you. Hope to see you soon.